don't fall into these traps like we don't proselytize this and that because like he said i mean it says it in the talmud also it says that converts suffer for delaying their conversions i mean it says this in Yevamot. don't drink the kool-aid there's a whole world i mean this is what frustrates me a little bit I mean, as someone who's been to many Jewish weddings and everyone has seen, you know, like you have the chuppah and the girl's never, you know, she's never touched the guy who she's not related to. It almost pisses you off. I mean, I mean, growing up with girls who would just give it away, right? I mean, like let guys run trains and do other stuff over nothing for, for a cheeseburger, right? And then we claim to have these standards of modesty and this and that. What Jewish women should be doing is going in the freaking ghetto and teaching modesty to these women. Right? I think God is going to hold it against you. And there's a medrash like this. There's a medrash that says that if you don't preach me as God amongst the nations, I will hold it against you. Which means if you have the there's tools some, some for everything. to make people's lives better and you're going to keep it for yourself, that when you see girls twerking on the corner, you know, like teenage girls who are pregnant, and you're going to keep it to yourself and you're going to tell you this is what God wants me to do, you're, you might as well not be Jewish. Because your existence and that attitude only harms the movement, the philosophy. Wait, but you go, you go to the ghettos and start like telling people that. No, most from people live in the ghetto. Okay, I mean. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you live in mean. Borough Park, Williamsburg, Crown Heights. Right, right, right. right. I mean, you're semi ghetto. Every okay. every community is surrounded by a ghetto. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you know, people who have a neighbor next door and see, I mean, the guy mistreating his wife, right? I mean, perhaps I mean, he should invite him over for Shabbos and show him how a family, a functional family actually works, right? I mean, we have to lead by example. I mean, that's what the Chumash says. The Chumash says that by keeping, you know, I mean, these Chukim, the world is going to say, wow, look at these freaking badasses. How can I join them, right? Easy. You have to be taught otherwise. The idea that we only care about, well, I mean, the truth is that we don't 